year 2013 began with new leadership when Mitch Daniels officially took the helm as Purdue's 12th president. The campus welcomed him with a reception and a student flash mob. <laughs> Even before taking office, he was welcomed by the community with a picnic in Lafayette. He arrived in style. Yes! <laughs> Daniels unveiled 10 initiatives to broaden Purdue's global impact and enhance educational opportunities. These Purdue moves fall into four categories aimed at delivering higher education at the highest proven value. The further strengthening of the, uh, of the areas in which Purdue excels right now, uh, engineering, uh, computer science, the so-called STEM discipline. Your peaks over here are the long tail. A whole a suite of initiatives to make sure that the way young people learn here is at the very cutting edge. We presently have 14 drugs and clinical trials. Make some deep investments in areas of research. We have chosen drug discovery, where Purdue researchers already have more compounds in clinical research than any university, and plant science, the chance to lead in meeting the nutritional needs of what will soon be 9 billion people. We take very seriously our land-grant heritage assignment to open the doors of higher education to young people of all income levels. We have frozen tuition for this year and next. We've reduced the cost of food and other fees. We will continue looking for ways, including focusing our scholarship assistance on lower-income families. In May, Daniels experienced his first commencement as president. So no matter how many of these I am called on to officiate, I'll always recall the class of 13. I know that you'll supply plenty of reminders in the form of great achievements of the kind on which human progress depends and for which Boilermakers have always been known. You now join the ranks of approximately a half million living alumni worldwide who have graduated from this great university. Here we go, one, two, boom. The Purdue Alumni Association honored graduates with spring and fall senior send-off celebrations, photo opportunities around campus, a Chicago Cubs trip, and a taste of graduation event. Boilermakers crammed around Monument Circle one day in August for a Boilermaker tailgate. Just prior to the tailgate, President Daniel spoke to 400 Indianapolis leaders. I, I got a real good buddy in New York City, and he goes home and says, did you hear about Mitch's new job? Said, no, no, what? He said, yeah, he's going to be president of Purdue. She said, that is just terrible. His talents will be totally wasted in the chicken business. <laughs> Daniels traveled to three alumni club meetings in 2013, including this one in Jeffersonville. I believe Purdue University has a chance to absolutely excel. I don't know about all the other schools out there. I suspect a lot of them are going to really struggle to prove that there's sufficient value in what they're doing for the price they're charging. A Purdue study is seeking to find ways to reduce concussions in football and soccer. A new research facility was dedicated in November. Herrick Labs will focus on industry-oriented research in areas ranging from advanced automotive technologies to smart buildings. It is central to the College of Engineering and the goals that we are trying to pursue. A new statue was dedicated on Memorial Mall to honor John Purdue. A new space plane exhibit was dedicated in the Armstrong Hall of Engineering. The champion of the 2013 Grand Prix. The Electric Vehicle Club's Jimmy Simpson became the first Grand Prix driver to win both the gas and electric versions. He then made it a clean sweep by taking the EV Grand Prix at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Grand Prix carts have changed a lot over the years. Historical carts were on display during homecoming.
two student groups traveled overseas. The All-American Marching Band went to Ireland for Dublin's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Purdue musical organizations entertained audiences in Austria, Germany, Switzerland, and France. He's got stuff to drop at every stop of the way. PMO's annual Purdue Christmas show wowed audiences for its 80th year. As part of Springfest, the entomology department and the horticulture show celebrated 100 year anniversaries. Yes, sucks, huh? The veterinary school, the school of nursing, and the college of technology each celebrated 50 years. It was also the 50th anniversary for the Purdue Fire Department, which demonstrated its new firefighting robot. In August, 5,500 eager new students took part in Boiler Gold Rush, giving them a chance to get oriented before classes. This is such a marvelously diverse class. You come from every point of the compass, virtually every country on Earth. You have so much to teach each other and learn from each other. Other BGR activities included a Boiler Up rally, meeting school faculty and advisors, and campus tours. Two, three. The tours let students experience crossing the tracks, drinking from the Lion Fountain, and checking out the new John Purdue statue. During BGR, the Alumni Association held a picnic for legacy students and their families. Led by three All-Americans, Purdue Volleyball swept three games from Illinois and advanced to the Elite Eight for the first time since 2010, but Wisconsin denied the Boilers a final four berth. The 2012-13 season saw Purdue wrestling finish with one of its best seasons in recent history, with its best dual record since 2004 and best Big Ten dual finish since 1998. Women's tennis also had its best year ever, reaching the second round of the NCAA Regionals. Purdue diver Casey Matthews won the NCAA three-meter championship. Led by All-American Paula Rito, women's golf won its sixth Big Ten title. Women's basketball again won the 2013 Big Ten tournament, their ninth championship, a Big Ten record. The Purdue Alumni Association sponsored pregame events in Chicago prior to each Purdue men's and women's game. The women advanced to the second round of the NCAA tourney where they lost to Louisville. The men fell to Santa Clara in the second round of the College Basketball Invitational. The baseball team dedicated its new home, Alexander Field, named in honor of former coach Dave Alexander. Despite the struggles of the football team, fans enjoyed a new way to fire up for each home game, the 211 pep rally. The name refers to one degree short of boiling. I'm really excited to be here. Coach Hazel spoke at a gathering of the Purdue Black Alumni Organization. The perception of Purdue football in the past, not a physical football team, but we're going to establish some toughness because every once in a while, you got to punch somebody in the mouth to get their attention. <laughs> Purdue students punched a hole in the myth that they aren't willing to give the clothes off their backs to help others. The Purdue Alumni Student Experience again sponsored the Nearly Naked Mile, in which students had fun running across campus after donating 400 pounds of clothing for charity. The annual Pace Networking Dinner kicked off Alumni Weekend activities. So this is my ultimate goal, this is what I want to get to. The Alumni Weekend keynote speaker was Purdue astronaut Jerry Ross. Uh, we've raised over $275,000 in scholarships, representing 245 scholarships. Other Alumni Weekend activities included a scholarship luncheon and sessions on how to improve alumni clubs. We revere all of you who have gone before and who have stayed ever grateful, ever true. President Daniels spoke at the awards banquet. Pace Awards included rising stars Ashlyn Smith and Zach Frazier and golden star Kevin Zuhl. Outstanding young alumni winners were Lindsey Williams and John Wright. Boilermaker Pride Awards went to Wendell Houck and Beth Euler. 
Alumni capped off the evening by enjoying the homecoming parade. If you're a Purdue alum, you gotta put your grad here on the sticker. Homecoming morning featured Purdue booths with information, activities, food, and music. The alumni band performed at halftime following the introduction of the homecoming queen and king. Purdue Black Alumni Organization enjoyed its homecoming dance following an afternoon tailgate. Oh, make a And let me know how I can help you. Other alumni events in 2013 included a reception for international student leaders, the annual Boilermaker Ball in Indianapolis, and a reception for Grand Prix alumni drivers and their families. Just uh, thank you, uh, really, uh, first up for your support of the scholarship program. And numerous club meetings, including this one in Cass County with Agriculture Dean Jay Ackridge as the featured speaker. Your Purdue Alumni Association is proud to bring you the 2013 Purdue Newsreel. We hope you're having a wonderful 2014. It's sure to be another great year for Purdue University. Thank you for joining us, and hail Purdue. Never lie.